talked about one nutrition plan that is very structured. Things a little off here. One nutrition plan that's very structured with the portion control containers. That was the first thing I ever followed with Beachbody. And that helped me to lose a good amount of weight. But I would say it would be almost two years ago. It was a couple months before my 40th birthday. I was just stuck with my weight. Like it didn't matter what I did, um, what I changed up with my nutrition, uh, the workouts I did, like it didn't matter. I could not lose anything. Like I was just stuck. And I had always been a very emotional eater. Anyone else out there, an emotional eater. Like you're sad, you eat. You're mad about something, you eat. Um, you're happy, you eat. You're bored, you eat. Um, that was me all the time especially being bored. And if I was upset about something, I would eat. And I mostly went for the sweets. That was like my kryptonite. But somebody told me about this new nutrition plan that came out with Beachbody and it was called To Be Mindset. And I believe it was my friend, Jen at the time that was following it. And she's like, it's really simple. It's actually geared toward emotional eaters because it teaches you um, more about your mindset with eating and not necessarily the eating itself, although that is a big component of it. Um, the focus really isn't on workouts, it's more on the nutrition component. So I just wanted to come on and share a little bit about it. So um, it is structured in such a way that you literally will get this very small pamphlet, you will get your tracker book, and then there are about 30 videos that are just like Ultimate Portion Fix. So To Be Mindset came out with the videos first, and then when 21 Day Fix relaunched and turned into Ultimate Portion Fix, they added that video component because the To Be Mindset program had such success with those video components. So that is actually where this all stemmed from. And she does the same kind of thing with her videos. They're very short. They could be five minutes. They could be 10 or 15 minutes. Um, she goes through like all the different components, what to be mindset actually is, like what that stands for. And then she'll go into the different fruit, food groups, grocery shopping, meal prep, um, what, how you eat when you travel, how you eat when you go out to restaurants, when you go to family picnics or family gatherings or holidays. This plan really helps you to um, live essentially because a lot of times when people are on a diet, and I hate that word, but when they're on a diet, they go places and they're like, I can't have that, I can't have that, I can't eat anything here because it's not on my diet. Well, this plan, she actually teaches you the foods to select when you go out to dinner or a party or whatever the case is. And I actually did this before my 40th birthday. I carried it through my 40th birthday and pretty much throughout the summer. So I hit those key parties like my birthday party, the 4th of July party. I had a few graduation parties in there. So this did help me through all of those different things. But here's how it's set up and it's very, very simple. So the to be mindset stands for water first, veggies most, tracking and using the scale, and dinner and done. Okay, that's what all of that is. So what her main focus is, is water first. So before you eat anything, before you even get up in the morning and have your coffee, you are to drink 16 ounces of water because water I know a lot of people think that they drink enough water, but I've talked about this before. Um, you should be drinking at least half your body weight in ounces or more if you can. Um, so this helps you with that if you are following it. And it actually comes with a water bottle too that has all these really cute sayings on it um, that goes along with it. And then you can track on it. But um, so you're gonna get up and you're gonna have that 16 ounces of water. Every time you have a meal in the day, so breakfast, lunch, if you have a midday snack, and dinner, you're gonna have 16 ounces of water first before you even put any food into your mouth. 
And what that is gonna do is that's going to help to replenish your body. That's going to help to fill you up a little bit so that you don't go crazy with your food. Because a lot of times um, we, as Americans, overeat. And a, a lot of times we're not even hungry. We're just used to eating those very large portions. So before every single meal, 16 ounces of water. Veggies most. You are going to be getting in veggies in pretty much every single meal. And as the day goes on, your veggies are going to increase in the portions that are on your plate. Um, tracking. So this book is very simple. You don't have to track anything as far as calories or containers or food groups or macros or anything like that. And I'm going to show you a blank page. So you're going to get something like this. Okay. And you can see there are plates down the side here. And this teaches you how you should be eating. So I will just quickly explain this. Um, okay. So I think my screen just went dark, but that's okay. Okay. So how you're going to set this up is for breakfast. Half of your plate is going to be protein. Half of your plate are going to be fiber filled carbs. So the difference between regular carbs and fiber filled carbs is that they contain a lot of fiber. So when you have food groups that contain a lot of fiber, you are full for a longer period of time. So you are going to get those food lists that show you the protein, the fiber filled carbs, the veggies, the fruits, and something they call accessories, which are going to be your healthy fats and any kind of condiments that you can use in this program. So your plate for breakfast, protein half, fiber filled carbs half. For lunch, and, and for breakfast, let me just throw this in there, veggies you can add in, those are a bonus, but you don't have to have them at breakfast time, but if you can get them in, awesome. At lunchtime, you are going to have now half of your plate is going to be veggies, a quarter of your plate is protein, a quarter of your plate are fiber filled carbs. Okay, so you can see that you're now starting to increase your veggies. Afternoon is when typically a lot of people have a snack. So this is how she sets it up. If you feel like you need a snack in the afternoon, the very first thing you wanna to go to is a vegetable. That is your first thing. If maybe the vegetable isn't enough, it's not filling enough, your next choice is to go to a protein. So vegetable, then protein. You can add in a healthy fat with that too. And then your third option, if you're still not um, full, is to go to that fiber filled carb. But remember, we are also drinking the 16 ounces of water before we go to that snack. Because a lot of times that afternoon snack is not because we're hungry, it's because we're bored. That is that midday period where maybe you've had lunch at like 11 o'clock, maybe you are hungry and that's fine, you can go to that snack, but sometimes you're just bored, especially being at home now. If a lot of people are at home or they're working from home, most of the time you're just grabbing stuff because it's there, it's accessible to you. So veggies, protein, fiber filled carb, drink your water first. And then for dinner, here's where your drastic changes. Now three quarters of your plate are veggies, a quarter of your plate is protein. So we have now eliminated those fiber filled carbs. Now why? Because a lot of people are used to having some kind of carbohydrate at dinner time because that's just kind of how we are. You have a potato maybe, you have a rice, um, I don't know, like french fries, I don't know. But a lot of times you have some kind of carb at dinner time. But the reason for this is because your body unless you are working out hardcore at night, is not going to burn off those carbs that you're putting into your body at that hour. So those carbohydrates are going to store as fat. And that is when we start to gain weight. So it's not necessarily uh, you have to stop eating by a certain time in the evening, it's the carbohydrates at night that are storing as fat because we aren't burning them. So you're gonna have the three quarters, veggies, quarter, protein. Now here is when one of her famous sayings come in, dinner and done. So you eat dinner at six o'clock, you eat dinner at seven o'clock. After you finish that dinner, you are done for the night. You're not going for more snacks. You're not going for a second dinner. 
you're not kind of walking around and like picking out of your cupboard you are done and this is going to be hard at first because a lot of people eat at night out of boredom because if you sat down and thought about it before you went into your pantry to go get something if you took that 16 ounce water drink if you really asked yourself am i hungry chances are you are not hungry you are bored you have developed the behavior of nighttime snacking so once you can kind of get through a couple days of it you will realize that you are not hungry you're bored or it's just the behavior like you sit down and probably have a snack when you're watching tv because you associate the tv watching with the snack that you're having so that is why a lot of people are doing that evening snacking. So if you follow the dinner and done, and then before you wanna go and reach for something else, drink 16 more ounces of water, chances are you are going to stay away from any kind of snacks, any type of late night eating. So that's what all of those plates are there for, if you can see that, all right? And then all that she has you writing down in this tracker is how many ounces of water, so you can mark it off. She has you just writing down the meal that you had. You're not you know, saying, I had a cup of this. I had you know, 150 calorie, whatever. You are writing down your meal, and then she wants you to write down the meal time. Okay, so you're keeping track of that. If you did any exercise, great, you can write that down. She has you write down here if you went to the bathroom. I know, TMI, but it is important when you're looking at weight loss. The other part of the tracking is the scale. And a lot of people have a really hard time with the scale. And before I did this program, I was one of those people. I hated the scale. The scale like taunted me, as it does most people. And a lot of people think that scales are a bad thing. But what she teaches you is that you are going to use the scale as a tool. And that is what I do. I actually, from this program, I still continue this. I get on my scale every single day. And it is not to be, you know, like, I don't know, use it as a way to kind of like torture myself. It is basically, I'm using it as a tool to see what I had the day before, how that's affected my weight. So that's why you're tracking here. Because what you can do is, let's say that I go and weigh myself tomorrow and I've gained a pound. I can look back on my day and look at the meals that I had and say, okay, what did I have in my day that could have caused that weight gain? Oh, wow, that meal at night, I bet there was a lot of sodium in that protein. That could have definitely caused it. Or if you go down in your scale, you can look back and be like, wow, I had an amazing day. I'm going to repeat this, like this really worked for me. So use the scale as a tool, not as a way to punish yourself, not as a way to beat yourself up. You use it as a tool. It is just that, that's all that it is. And I have honestly used my scale every single day for that purpose. Okay, so that is the tracker. Um, in this book, she is going to give you um, the different food lists for your veggies, your protein, your fiber, fiber filled carbs, um, what she called FFCs, your accessories, which are gonna have your healthy fats, your condiments, your dressings, your freebies. And then she's gonna go through, called a plated recap. So she's gonna talk about all of those things again. And then she has some best options for your pantry and your fridge. And then I already talked about that. And then she's gonna give you some options when you go out to dinner or a restaurant or a picnic. That is also all covered in the video breakdown. So there are, I believe, 30 videos that come with that program. And then there are a ton of recipes. Um, she actually is coming out with a book too, to go along with this. Now remember, this program came out about two years ago almost. Um, so she has now since written a book about it and if you are on Beachbody On Demand, whether you purchase this nutrition program or not, you actually will get the cooking channel for the 2B Mindset recipes. 
that is going to be rolling out next week, starting with her first two recipes. So we already have the Ultimate Portion Fix cooking channel. She's now going to be ha having a To Be Mindset cooking channel, which is really awesome. But um, I will say from this, when I did it, I first did it four weeks before my 40th birthday and I lost 10 pounds. Now, my scale had not budged in probably over six to eight months. Like it did it. Then I started changing it up. I started doing a lot of the things she was telling me, especially the dinner and done, the water before my meals, and those carbohydrates in the evening. That was the thing that really did it for me. Having my carbohydrates early really helped. And I still try to do that today. So I kind of do a mashup of a few things that I have found to really work for me. So if this is something, um, let me see here. Is there a way to combine? I feel like you can always combine things. Um, and that's what I've kind of done. I've pieced together the components that have worked for me. So I may stick to a lot of food groups in Ultimate Portion Fix, but I follow components of To Be Mindset with the scale, with the water, um, getting my veggies in at night and really trying to, you know, watch getting in those carbs in the evening. I try to like piece together those things. So you certainly can do that. Um, what I found to help me at night too was that when I wanted something, instead of um, going for a snack because I was following that dinner and done, what I did was I would make myself some hot tea and like the flavoring of like a hot green tea helped me because there was just like a hint of sweetness in it. So that helped me in the evenings. So that's just like a little tip to get you over the hump there when you first start this. But um, I feel like I covered everything in this. Um, I love this plan. It's super simple. It's really easy to follow. Um, like I said, the biggest difference between this and the Ultimate Portion Fix is Ultimate Portion Fix is very structured. Like you're getting those containers, you are following those portions, um, where this is gives you a little more freedom because it's teaching you about your eating behaviors. Like you're really focusing on your mindset. You're really focusing on not being an emotional eater anymore and not beating yourself up about what you're having. And that scale, that scale kills a lot of people. And I get it because I used to be one of those people, but I get on the scale every single day because I wanna track my weight. And when it goes up, I'm like, oh, what did I have yesterday? And then I look and I'm like, yep, that's what it was. I know what I had. And I'm not saying there aren't days where I feel like I did really well and I get on the scale and I'm like, geez, like what the heck? But then I have to take into other, you know, other things into account. Like I look and think, wow, my dinner definitely had a lot of sodium in it. Or wow, I really didn't get in as much water yesterday as I normally do. So there are lots of factors and that scale is just one tool that you can use. And if you have some kind of tracking system, then you can go back and look at it. So hopefully I answered everyone's questions. Um, if you have any questions though, I'm scrolling back through. If you have any questions though, you can always message me and ask, <laughs> does wine count as a snack?